welcome to part 25 of Final Fantasy VIII. In this episode, we are going to finish off Laguna's dream sequence and continue the plot. Because after all, if we have a prolonged leg cramp, that's called a charley horse. And eventually, that also is called gangrene. You might want to get that looked at. But anyway, we're going to continue on with the plot. After all, we can't be dreaming forever. And speaking of which, where were we last time? Oh yeah, that's right. Right before we went to Laguna's dream world, we just got finished trying to assassinate Sorceress and failing miserably because Renoa did not sit her ass down somewhere. And now, the whole group's in jail. <clears throat> See, uh... Zell had a different dream from everybody else because Zell dreamt that he was Ward, cleaning prison cells in Galbadia. That's gonna come up as a plot point, by the way. Anyway, we can all blame Renoa for this plan going straight to hell. And everybody not only being in prison, but also being on death row. But that's not the worst part. Uh, here's the worst part. Due to Seed's actions, Galbadia and Balam Gardens are both in serious trouble as well. So, first off, we're gonna have to talk to Quistus, then Selfie, then Renoa to continue the plot. And before we do, we also might want to equip Zell for, Z for GFs, because Zell is at, well my version of Cell actually, is low level at this point. And due to the fact that most of the scenes with Zell uh, was not actually, okay, why well, should I put this? Um, <clears throat> due to the fact that Zell was out for most of the level grinding, and it was just Irvin and Squall and, uh, Who else? Oh yeah, Selfie. But more importantly, Urban Squall and Selfie. Uh, yeah. He's pretty much SOL right now. He's at a low level, and he needs to be raised up to a high level. This place definitely will help Zell jump from level 16 all the way to level 20. And if you do get all of your party members back, well, don't go for Squall immediately. Try to at least gain your lesser party levels up to catch up to Squall. Because as I said before, Squall is at a high level because most of the scenes will involve him. And the scenes that don't involve him, you have to increase the uh, <coughs> level of your party members, <coughs> <coughs> specifically Renoa as well, because Renoa may not have much since this disc as well. Oh, and mind you, we're going to be escaping from this place, so this is kind of a three-part endeavor, if not four. Now then. Uh, Zell just realized that Renoa reminded him that he had the dream sequence as Ward. Therefore, Zell knows this place inside and out, since this was the prison that Zell was, or I should say Ward, was working in. You know, that would be the case if... Zell actually did see all the places where Ward went, but here's the thing, he can't really say that for sure. Now then, um, for the time being, nobody has their weapons. And that includes Squall who is somehow alive after getting punctured in the lung by an icicle. 
and falling off of a parade float. Seriously, how in the hell did he survive? It's not explained. Yeah, I did give that away in part 23, but you know what? Everyone to this day calls bullshit. Squall should be dead, or at least in a coma. But he is barely alive. However, things are not going to be any better for Squall. You see, a la Portal, Squall is being lifted up from his cell. And speaking of things going into a cell, oh look, the Galbadian police. Led by Mean Guy, who's ironically named Mean Kai. Hi. <sighs> For those of you who don't know who Mean Guy is, he's the reason why people say fuck the police when it comes down to video games. Hence why I said that. And of course, him showing out because those two guys back there are armed with guns. Not gun blades, actual guns. And poor Zell, he's being roughed up, man. Can't we all just get along, man? Seriously. There was no need. Hands up, don't beat him down. I think I said that wrong. But anyway... Zell is pretty much out for the count. All because they were looking for it. Oh, God damn it! that was not needed. I, I Good measure was not needed on that. Renoa said she surrendered. Then again, it is Mean Guy after all. So yes, Renoa is separated from the party once again. Now here's the twist. The enemies will actually be low level if Renoa is the only person there. Now if they're high level, no, they're going to be high level if they're anyone else. So anyway, Cypher just picks apart Squall because he lost like a little bitch in front of Sorceress Edia. And after actually finding Squall in a very precarious situation, he now tortures him a la uh, Revolver Ocelot. Yeah, I had to think about that for a second, because I haven't played Metal Gear Solid for a while. Yeah, that's right. This asshole here, as I said before, Squ uh, Cypher's a pussy. This asshole is torturing Squall. And he is trying to extract information from Squall, and this is Squall we're talking about. You're not going to get much information out of him as you would a decent conversation. So, yeah. The only thing you're going to get is a whatever or ellipses. Although, in Squall's case, the ellipses might not be a good idea. And again, that's one loyal soldier. Ooh, and I can't press circle to stop this! Or at least revive some of my energy or anything like that. Anyway... Squall is... Oh ha, it's funny, he said that the chicken wuss won't last three seconds in this torture! So, yeah, he was planning on torturing Zell. Wow, he underestimates Zell really quickly. But then again, Zell did get roughed up by those guards very fast. But yes, Cypher goes on and on about his romantic dream instead of just killing Squall. Dude, if you had time to pretty much dialogue if you have time to take that gunblade and strike him down. 
But here's the thing. <clears throat> there are more seeds that he could actually interrogate. And Selfie tries to cure, unfortunately, cure won't do too much for him. Don't let that fool you, ladies and gentlemen. Do not let that fool you. Because despite what Quistus says, you can use magic here. Aww. The poor tiger thingy tripped. Oh no, not this asshole again. Really? You know what? It's time for me to start whooping your ass. Oh, by the way, stand up for the uh, monster that just got his ass kicked. Trust me on this. Oh no, I'm not gonna regret anything. Anyway. This kitty is... It didn't take too much damage. But he still hurt. And Selfie is going to try to use Cure. So we actually got ourselves an ally. Which is a good thing. We need all the allies we can get. Because right now, we don't know where Irving is. And not just that. Squall is still saying ellipses while being Toro. Oh god, wait, what What did he just say? They're launching missiles at the Balam Garden? They are launching missiles at the Balam Garden. Are they fucking serious? Oh boy. No good will come of this. And then they plan on killing any seeds that happen to evacuate. Ah, uh, Cypher, you certainly has fallen very, very far. All because you were butthurt that you could not be a seed. Then again, that's what you get for going Leroy Jenkins. Oh yeah, this guy. He... he must be related to Mean Guy because, yeah, he has a very sadistic pleasure of torturing people. Mind you, Squall is 17. Just thought I'd remind you that. And by the way, choose Just Let Me Die. Because something will happen if you choose Let Him... Choose I Want to Live. And of course, the last thing he says in ellipses was, your breath stinks. I think he just said something a little bit more brutal towards him. And the only reason that Warden is talking shit is because Squall is crucified on an electric torture chamber. If Squall actually has his guns, or his gun blades if you will, he would not be talking shit. Oh, we're gonna have to remedy that problem, by the way. Azel. So, yeah. I'll give you all one word of warning, though. When I record this, I fell asleep and, uh, did not save. Because the safe spot was on the upper floor. Yeah. That was real stupid of me. Um, and Selfie actually made a Star Wars joke about cutting him open and using him as disguise. Wow, Selfie, you really are cold-blooded. So, <clears throat> Zell has to come up with a plan to get his weapons as well as everybody else's weapons back so they could do more damage. Trust me, they're gonna need them. And finally, Zell feels important. 
But we're not gonna end this part just yet. Oh no. Not until we actually get one last measure of revenge. Yeah, everybody is playing dead save for Zell. Only for the mean guy to come in. Owen, mean guy. Remember that ass whooping you gave Zell? Yeah, fuck the police! And that's the end of this part. I will see you guys in the next episode when we actually go and get everybody's weapons back as Zell. This is Army Man 985. See you.